it's quite windy. Oh no, <laughs> it's got to come up so straight this bloody thing. Thank you, see ya, thank you. This end, so I probably am in the way a little bit. Well, at least I'll be worried about my height. I'm at 2 4. I don't really want to go back, that's the trouble. I think I should because they're climbing over there. guys I'm sort of over the winches which is not really where they want me to be bar it took two three ASL if I were them I'd be sort of waiting till I was well clear so I'm probably holding them up Two four though, two five. Come on, they bus. <laughs> I can't go inside the cell plane. It's turn circles too. Right, left hand side went then. Yikes. Helen's over there, she's still going up, but this is obviously the strongest up here. If I could let go, I'd try and zoom a zip up because I'm cold now and put my gloves on to wait for a slightly more cut arm a bit. Blimey. Right, there's Helen, she's below me somewhere, so I'm going to try and track her. Oh, they're going up over there. Zip up a bit. Baby boy. Right, shut up. I'll get off the camera. Right, we're about to so like three seven. Very rough though. I've only been near Buzz. <laughs> Not going up much. Come on, Helen, show us where the car is. Oh, 
Oh, look at the view. Not enough time to enjoy it at all. Right, well, uh, I've tried to pimp and get the, let these guys go ahead, but they've got the better of me at the moment. Uh, that's the downside of pimping. You wait and wait for them to find a better climb, and then by the time you get to it, it's already gone. Right, anyway, there's grouse and uh, buzz up ahead and they've just been milking tiny little bits of lift there under that cloud but um, not cranking up really and now they're sort of moving on so I'm sort of behind them really and below them so need something definite might sort of divert a bit to the, to the middle of this cloud because I'm a bit too low like 28, 29, oh the buzz is going up Well, but I'm sinking. It looks like he's going up. Right, lovely view. How do I get one? Got a bit low then. It's about 1200, I think. Not out of the woods yet, but uh, gone up so far quite reliably. Well, I've had a nice climb here, up to 3-2 coming up and uh, caught up with Buzz, which is nice. Because he showed me the climb and then eventually I sort of got up to his level again, which is lovely. Hey, hey! Woohoo! Right, aim for a cloud. Buzz has taken a bit more of a climb behind me, so he's a little bit higher. Cut them on the feet. I'm taking a dive for a cloud that's slightly decaying. But so far the uh, clouds have had quite a lot of lift under them while they're decaying, so I think we're all right. Not ideal though. Always want a cloud that's building. A little bit of crosswinding, trying to avoid Robin Hood. Um, so sort of Robin is over there and we're trying to get across because the wind is almost due west at the moment. So a little bit of a problem of getting a little bit close to Nether thought. It should be right. But the wind at the moment, the, the last climb was uh, definitely had quite a bit of uh, from south in it. We're trying to guard against passage behind me. You're on the radio, Buzz. Yeah, yeah, can hear you okay, bit of a noise. Just trying to crosswind a bit just to avoid uh, Robin Hood if, in case we get blown towards it. Okay, though, just shout if you get a lift anywhere and I'll do the same to you. So that buzzer just a massive flip. Here anyway, nice. We're both in about the same amount of climb. I thought you know that a buzzard. He's like a completely nutty buzzard. I thought he might try and fly at me. Alright, I'm falling out of this all the time. Buzz is doing better than me. Can't have that! <laughs> and there's Helen in the distance. She must have been bottom grovelling for a bit. We've been going really slow.
Oh, this is nice. Proper climb. smooth even. What's going wrong? This is lovely because now we're about as high as we've been. Three, three, six and under some quite nice clouds that have just been developing. So we're in a sort of a better situation than we were before. M1, slow progress, and slightly struggling to uh, get around the bottom of uh, Robin Hood. It's obviously uh, a little bit more south or due west than we thought it would be from the uh, from Ras. Not much here, Buzz, but I can see Helen down there coming up on something. Can you see her? Off to the north. Woohoo! And we're actually we're a little bit near base now, so I don't know. Um, trying to work out how not to go into cloud with Buzz. Buzz, talk to me, damn you, if you're going to go in the cloud. Shadow is quite is below us, so we've got an idea of where it's going. Um, I'm really wanting to crosswind more, I think, to get through the Lincoln Gap. Oh, all right. Just want to watch Waddington. So it's a weekday. I know. I just want to talk about headings and stuff before we went in. Um, I can see the ground, and I'm on the constant heading. Yeah, I'm sort of heading southeast. It's quite hard to hear you, quite a lot of static. I don't know if it's my radio or yours, it's very hard to hear you. Sherwood Forest and Buzz is trying to go up in something here but he's it's a cloud, it's slightly disintegrating but blimey. I don't know where I'm going here, there's something like a thermal here somewhere. Well it should be with that cloud there, it's just where I'm wondering if Buzz has gone a bit downwind of it. I'll watch you. Oh there's a little go-kart circuit there. Turning it on. I thought I was turning him off. Um, Buzz is going up in something down there. 
Uh, but I'm in quite a good line, so I'm going to keep on with this at the moment. I'm actually on a lifty line and heading towards some nice clouds. Oh, it's this strong, I might even turn in it. Of course. But I might be able to go straight on. I'm sort of bearing in mind that there's a, uh, a convergence line was predicted around this time. Um, three o'clock. Can't really see sign of it, but um, just, just keeping it in the back of my mind that there's a convergence line. But it's actually supposed to be further south from here, over there somewhere. Um, so yeah, not spending too much attention to it, but just keeping in mind the possibility of getting under a nice line and getting some distance. Well, it's been rough, so not terribly enjoyable in the climbs. Um, not all of them, but uh, some really gnarly bits. Oh, there's Helen again. Oh, blimey. How come she's gone so slow? She always makes me feel slow. Always romps on her head. Well, it makes a nice change. Cloud from the overhead, exactly what you want. Lovely view. Just a little bit too ratty to really enjoy it most of the time. Not in climbs anyway. Just get a little uh, time to look around on a glide. And then oh ribbon egg, ribbon egg again. Can't even turn you off at the moment, but probably should do. For battery. Right, so we're 4,000, about as high as we've been. And this time there's no buzz quite near the cloud or anybody else near the cloud. So, and there's a cloud downwind that is quite obvious to go for. If we, uh, if we get near base here, I'll just pop off downwind. So it's sort of ideal, um, really. And isn't too rough even. <laughs> it is a lovely view up here. I do love this environment, but the mouth is dry because uh, it's a little bit hectic and I want to stay alive and I want to have a nice peaceful flight nothing too drastic right here we go right, slightly naughty boy time but I sort of knew it because it got 4-3, four, 4-4 four, four. and I'm going to go I'm going to follow the line I've got set up on the Garmin for the Lincoln Gap hopefully that will stay in sort of sight of the ground well, Oh, we're out of that. Got a whole lot of view. But on my own. Got the Trent here. Um, there's a Trent. I'm nearly always wrong when I make an announcement. And I'm on my own because uh, Helen and uh, Buzz are a bit further behind, about a climb behind. Um, and I'm pressing on because I think the pace is a bit low at the moment. I'm only making ground speed of 48k and uh, trying to thread our way through the uh, gap, the Lincoln Gap so I can see Lincoln Cathedral which is a really good sort of visual marker of, um, of where I need to be to avoid uh, R313 Scampton uh, and try not to get into uh, um, one into an 80. Right, well I'm needing to cross wind again because I'm being blown off course for Lincoln so I feel the need to track north and there's this tailplane going up so I was going that way but now I think I need to get slightly north of the track line the, uh, the line I've set on the target line whatever you call it on the GPS so I need to try and get a little bit north where I am and this cell plane is to the north of me so sort of northeast yeah, northeast heading um, so I'm gonna try and get what he's got and that might put us in reach of that cloud I don't know if that's the cloud he's going up in under might be can't, can't interfere with it it's fun I like the sort of the uh, I like coming across cell planes I've got a bit of sink now so that means I'm gonna turn up at the same Oh, it is in if I'm not careful. Big sink. Five down. Well, I 
really don't want to get there until he's got above me. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, he's not even going up much. He's really sinking like a stone. So elegant, look at that. Don't know if he waves or not. Two five. So I want this. Waving at me. Still trying to thread this needle. There's uh, Lincoln Cathedral, and uh, we're sort of into the just got going into the panhandle of the Boylington Mats. Yeah, you can see there. Um, but I'm aiming at this cloud. It's slightly south of the track I want, but the wind drift is about. We're not far off, so we're not far off the direction we want to be on, the position we want to be right now, as long as this cloud gives a nice bit of lift. Um, and the next one, I think we're good. We're just direct, directly travelling east now in a westerly breeze, not much wind. I see bits of, quite big bits of straw which is always worrying me. Look at these, look. As you can see, that just means something really strong has hoofed up from the ground. So it always worries me about the strength of the thermal. But of course, it might not be still here, it might have, oh there's one, whoa! Um, it's probably where they're harvesting down there, and the thermal has gone off in the field, but it was even strong. So I'm apprehensive, because normally that would mean something very strong somewhere. Finding the lift that I want under this cloud, I feel like I'm almost past it. Don't really want to go back, just keep barreling on Lincolnwood. I want to go up, really, I really want to go up just right here, exactly where I want to go up. Circling in coast or something here. By oh, that gnarly bit, and a chance to see the, uh, the river backlit, which is lovely. Ah, bugger, not really in the ideal situation. I missed that, flew all underneath the cloud. I went up in 
a little bit. Not very strong. We're going up. Two nine. Better. Good. Good. Oh, big pet of straw there. When I said this before, you can never see them on the bloody camera, which is a bit disappointing. That was a whole bloody bit with the ears on and everything. I'm really happy here. Um, I've, I've got, we've got the four, three, four, four coming up. Oh, what that intense bit of brightness is over there. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sort of four, coming out to four, four, not very far from base. I'm just dribbling with this. I'm just like happy to stay in lift and try and work out how to get through the Lincoln Gap. Right. Um, not where I want to be at all now, but going through the Lincoln Gap. But now it's down to sort of 1,400 feet. Lovely view of the town. It stinks of gas up here for some reason. Um, and I'm sort of like a little bit close to the the Scampton uh, R313. And uh, so I'm a bit nearer that. And I got about up to that running track there over there before I hit the, uh, the ATZ. Oop, far off wobble here. Anything, anything, please? Let me up, let me up. Right, I'm going upwind, but there's a buzzard. It's, well, it's not really circling, but it's here. It's gone up a bit. <laughs> Which way are you turning, mate? Winding up slowly in this thing, quite reliably and not even rough, relatively. Not much drift, but still only like 1700 feet. Just trying to be really, you know, I'm going to shut up and focus on the thermal. Yeah, yeah, still in the same thermal. Um, a bit rattier now and stronger. So definitely going up nicely. Nice view of Lincoln. Not quite sure whether it's worth leaving the train station um, behind and trying to go on a longer XC, but while we're climbing, we've got still got all the options of, um, yeah, we've only got the little, yeah, the Kobo's died. I'll have to try and plug it in if I can. But I need to concentrate on this thermal, that's the trouble. Still the same thermal. A bit more ratty now and a bit hard to find as well. There's definitely sort of lumpiness in it, but I haven't found it. There's a cloud forming above us, which is lovely. But I'm not going up very much, so about 3,100 3, feet, something like that. I've managed to, oh, oh, left hand went. Um, I've managed to get the Kobo on the, God, that was a palaver. It was all tucked away, I forgot about my power pack. Um, might have even needed charging. It hasn't been used for six months and the lead is all tucked away. Silly me. Anyway, we're going to go again. I'm going to leave Lincoln probably. Staying in this, got for three grand, so definitely there's a journey to be had. Can't see anybody else out. I'm not sure I'm not infringing anywhere. Oh, I'm out there now. I can see the sea! <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I'll get there though, but then I never do think I'll get there. 
funny white post in front looks massive unless it's a very straight road um right 89k from launch something like that 90 but i've had to reset the kobo so that tells me from launch i've done 5.8 so basically by the time that says i've done 15 or 16 from lincoln i've uh, oh, i've done 100 it's always nice Oh, this is how I like it now. Nothing too desperate. Um, it's coming up to sort of five o'clock. Yeah, sixteen fifty-eight. And I thought probably we'd only have about till five o'clock, so we wouldn't really be able to aim aim for sort of the coast or Skeggy really. And it has been a bit slow at times. So we can get something under this grey cloud. Right. Um, to eight, and I've bit, made a bit of a lunge for this uh, cloud partly because I want to land before it gets any later and I want to try and get 100k um, I've got 94 at the moment uh, I just thought it'd be nice if it was a straight line 100k as well but get in the book but um, I might not because I'm slightly outreaching this cloud this big one and I'm sort of cursing myself now for not taking the little, the little tiny little climbs I found on the way here on this glide. But I'm committed now, it doesn't matter. I just need to find a town so I've got some bloody chance of getting. Right, in the four down, so I've got a load of bar on again. And there's obviously something here, there's a brown field I'm just flying over now, but we're only at 1700 feet. So uh, this might be the end and if I don't get a climb here I won't quite get a 100k straight line I think I might I'm not sure because it's all messed up and the Kobo is not working um, for some reason the screen's not even working one chimpanzee two chimpanzee three chimpanzee it's a very lonely place to be down but <laughs> Thousand feet or something here. <laughs> Good. Definite climb. Might have been that warming of that brown field upwind there. It's now in the shade. But no. This time of day, often the uh, wood seem to work, but there's no wood here. And there's a dark cloud above, so brilliant. And if we get all the way up to there, up to base, that'd be beautiful, but at this rate it'll take 20 minutes. Right, um, lovely climb, really nice. Uh, a bit rough actually, but lovely to have such a strong climb. This just when I needed it, down to a thousand feet under this uh, grey cloud. And the sea's easily in sight, but probably not in range. Um, we've got like 20 past five, um, but a really nice steady climb gnarly bits in it but generally really good and uh, we're now at 3.5 um, and I'd like to take this, definitely take this one up to the top I feel a bit lucky and hey, hey notice it's only a guess but I think it's about right my uh, Garmin is showing 100 kilometers from Bradwell it's a slight estimate sort of a distance measurement I sort of had a stab at roughly where Bradwell was or the beginning of the track was so uh, Sweet. That's nice. I'm very satisfied. It's quite a tiring day, so I haven't enjoyed it very much. I like this kind of bimbly day, this bimbly evening kind of thing when it's when it's not too drastic. Little flatlands and lovely to look at the view. Well, I've figured out from the Garmin where Horncastle roughly is. It's still about sort of 20k away. So over there by that wind farm or on the way to the wind farm so I'm not quite sure whether I'll get there but I think that's the plan get to Horncastle because I think there's trains so that would be a really big help if I can get there I need a wee ha, lovely view it is a mast that thing big white mast right I sort of feel I've dropped out of the thermal so I'm going to go up wind a bit I 
maybe it's just a weak thermal. But these are uh, the combines, the dust was coming at different angles, and I was trying to work out. But that's the normal wind, and it's pulling in this way, so maybe it's, I don't know. Um, not going very far, but not going down at the moment, so I'm sort of milking this, but it's wasting time because there's not much progress. So, do I do a downwind dive? Just maintaining here. Took that 2.6. Can't see the obvious thing to go for, but maybe that. I think that's a bit out of range as I'm only at 2.6. Mm. I'm sorry, cross winding a little bit into the sunshine, or even towards this town. I've got a feeling that it might not be directly under that thing. <sighs> yeah, right. well, the, the clouds are hardly moving. Okay, but well, the clouds are not really moving, so I'm not underneath it. So, that cloud base anyway, the, the drift is so small, I might as well just try and get underneath this. I hope there's something kicking off. But there's not much sun on the ground. Oh, nearly down. Wow, look at the seagulls. Any seagulls showing me a climb? Oh, there's some over there. <laughs> Can I even get to them? I'm not sure how much they're going up. But they're definitely circling or something, but flapping wildly, so. Ah, right. Right, I've got a very long walk out of here, I think. Seven hundred feet below, uh, above sea level, uh, below, below sea level. Right. Well, they're not really going up in much; they're dispersing. But they did look like they were. So, and there's something bumpy here. So, I'm going to have a look, and if not, land in this rough field here somewhere, and have a little bit of a problem, I think, getting out of here. Seven k short of Horncastle. Need a drink, I need some food, I need a wee. <laughs> 